On the evening of October 10th, 2006, my mom called and told me she saw Mark on the five o'clock news. He was working on a trudging machine in the gravel pits and it capsized into 115 feet of water. An official said drowning caused his death. Mark Hickmott was my first best friend. He was 11 and I was three when we met. He lived across the street on a large dairy farm. Mark brought over his first pet calf. The calf got spooked and ran real fast and knocked Mark over. He got a concussion. Mark was sometimes annoying. At the farmer's club Christmas party, he sat across from me kicking my shins under the table so no one could see. I got real angry and started pelting him with kicks, my legs like tiny machine guns. The harder and faster I kicked, the more Mark would laugh. I stood my ground until Aunt Burl, his mother, scolded me and told me to stop kicking the lady that was sitting next to Mark. I was so embarrassed and mad I never told the lady that I was sorry. He introduced me to his best friend, Ralph Everett. Ralph was legally blind. His eyes were small and his glasses were thick. Once we made a huge snow fort that acted as a race car and we decided to play Speed Racer. I was Speed Racer and he was Racer X. In the animated series, there was always a race and oftentimes a fight. He hit me in the lip, making it swell and bleed. He said I was supposed to duck and he didn't mean it. When my mom asked what happened to my lip, I said, oh, uh, I think some ice fell on it. I would never tattle on my best friend. We did everything together. I saw my first movie with Mark at the Oxford Movie Theater, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. After that film, I always had some strange fear of drowning and being taken in by the giant squid. I had dreams of bizarre sea creatures surrounding my sinking body. Somehow, I could always breathe underwater. We even went on vacations together. We went to New Jersey to visit my relatives. It was Easter and my grandmother gave us both huge Easter baskets. After coming back from riding bikes with my cousin Billy, Mark started crying and yelling at his mom because he couldn't find his Easter basket. He accused her of stealing it because she never let him have candy and why would she do that to him? She kept saying she didn't take his basket. My grandmother gave him another huge basket of candy. Later that day, he found the missing candy right where he had left it. I thought he was a big baby that day. A lady at the mall asked if I had any brothers or sisters. My mom said no, just as I said, yep, I have one brother, Mark. When I was seven, my dad told us we couldn't see or talk to any of the Hickmonts anymore. I was real sad. Mark was sad too. One day he was staring at our house so hard while riding on his motorcycle, he hit a car and broke his leg. We got to see him that day. My mom helped him as he laid in the middle of the road waiting for an ambulance. 